For this week's edition of Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy teach us the best techniques for fishing over the top of lake vegetation and an area that many anglers miss out on. Hello again everybody, I'm Ray Gildow and tonight we're going to talk a little bit about fishing over vegetation to find fish. I think it's fair to say most people who are angling go out on the outside edges of the vegetation or they go on the inside towards shore in shallower water and that's where they do a lot of their fishing. If that's what you do and you're not going over the top of the vegetation, you're really missing out on an area that's very, very productive. I'm just going to talk briefly about going over the top with crankbaits. And what I do is I have an electric trolling motor in the front of my boat and I go over the tops of these vegetations and I'm probably in uh, 7 to 12 feet of water. And I go slow and quietly and I pull the crankbait back behind the boat. It doesn't have to be a long ways behind because you're not making a lot of noise and those fish that are in, those, in that vegetation will pop up and grab that crankbait and it's a very, very effective way to catch walleyes, bass and northern pike uh, anywhere from seven feet. You can actually, you know, the weed, uh, weed lines are getting deeper all the time with our clear water. Sometimes you can go 17, 18 feet of water and just go over the tops of those vegetation areas and you'll catch some fish. Mandy's going to talk about how she does it with crawlers. Correct. So here again, I'm talking walleyes. We're not talking bass today. It's called a slow death rig. Google it, look it up, get used to it. So it, it's not a real prominent idea or way to fish walleye, especially in, in the summertime to think about going maybe even shallow or into the weeds. But here again, we're fishing over top of the weeds. So you're trolling what's going to be a, a small spinner bait with the slow death hook. And the, the slow death hook itself has a turn in it. So when you put that night crawler on there as it trolls, the night crawler itself spins in the water almost like a, a propeller. Um, and you're literally trolling, like Ray said, he is with his cranks right over the top of the vegetation with that small spinner bait and smashing walleyes. Two good tips. Go ahead and try them this summer. I'm sure you'll catch some nice fish. I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.